guys, do you know what season it is? It's pie season. And with that being said, not everyone in the world loves to bake pie. In fact, the only pie I bake is chicken pot pie. So I thought I'd come today and share with you an easy to make recipe that requires zero baking. It's a pie that you can bring to any party and people are going to love it. And it looks pretty too. So it's really simple. The pie I'm making today is called Butterfinger Pie. That's right, Butterfinger. Can't get any much better than Butterfinger. Right here. <laughs> so it's really simple. I'm gonna show you the ingredients real fast and then we're gonna make it together. It's a really easy, quick recipe, so hang tight. All you need is a tub of Cool Whip, just a little eight ounce tub. You need a Oreo pie shell, or you could get the graham cracker, whichever one you prefer. I think Oreo is gonna taste good with it. You need about two cups of Butterfingers. I don't know how much this is, but this is what I'm gonna use. I don't think it's that important. There's a bunch of Butterfingers that we're gonna crush up. You're gonna need one box of cream cheese that is at room temperature, so make sure it's not chilled. Um, you're gonna need some powdered sugar, peanut butter, and vanilla ex extract. I hope I have enough, but I think I do. Vanilla extract. Okay, so we're gonna throw this together real fast and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. All right, y'all, you ready to get started on this Butterfinger pie? I'm telling you, you ain't gonna wanna miss this. First thing I'm gonna do is take these Butterfingers, open them all up, Stick them in a Ziploc bag and crush them up with a rolling pin. Really easy. <laughs> so as you can see, I got all the Butterfingers unwrapped and I'm just going to go ahead and take out my anger on them. Really easy. They break really easy. That's it. That's all it took. Look at All nice and crumbly. Easy breezy. All right, the next step is I'm going to take my cream cheese. Remember, it's not chilled, so it's been sitting out in room temperature for a while. And I'm just going to throw it in to the bowl. Let me lower this bowl down for a second. Okay, after I put in the cream teams, I'm going to put in just half a cup of peanut butter. Creamy peanut butter, preferably. But I'm sure it'll taste good with crunchy if you like crunchy peanut butter. I'm using creamy. Okay, so. Half cup of peanut butter. I'm going to slowly mix this together. Just get, kind of get it blended. Get it going, get it going. I'm going to go ahead and throw in just a little, uh, probably a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to scrape down the sides real fast so it gets all mixed up. Okay, so to this mixture, I'm going to add some powdered sugar. I'm going to add a cup 
and a half of powdered sugar. So there's one cup. Lower that down. One cup. And a half a cup. And get this mixed again. Now we're just going to blend this all up until it gets all evenly mixed. It's pretty thick, as you can imagine. Almost like a cookie dough consistency. Alright, that's blended up good, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the beater off. Move everything around. So here's the mixture. I wish I had better lighting. I was going to do it, but I think I'm going to go invest in... Um, a little ring light of some sort to make my videos because my house is so dark. So there you have it. That's uh, the first part of the base. So to this, what we're going to do is we're going to add the crushed up Butterfingers. But we're going to save a little bit of them to sprinkle on top of the pie when it's all done. Okay, so I just saved a little corner part for garnishment, and I'm going to make sure this gets evenly incorporated into the mixture. Butterfingers are so yummy. One of my favorite candy bars. And you know what? I think you could do this with any candy bar. If you think about it, you could bake it a Snickers pie, Reese's pie. I don't think there's really a limit. A Twix pie. Whatever candy bar you like. Okay, so we got that. I'm better at making a mess than I am at making anything else, so. Okay, now what you're going to do is uh, take your Cool Whip. Gonna take half of it and get that kind of the initial fold. You're not really stirring it heavily, just kind of folding it to so you don't lose the lightness of the whipped cream. Or the cool whip, not the whipped cream. Okay, and then go ahead and add the remaining amount of Cool Whip. And get that all folded in. Okay, it's all mixed in, or folded in I should say. Now all you want to do is get your... Oreo pie shell. I love recipes where everything is just so easy and and you just kind of throw it together. No making dough, none of that stuff. Everything's already done for you. And you're just putting it all together. Alright, so there's the pie crust and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. Oops. See? Told you I'm better at making a mess than anything else. Just 
just kind of putting it in. And I am going to uh, garnish it with my leftover Butterfingers. So I might have saved too many. This is going to have a lot of crumbles on top. But that's okay. And I'm going to garnish it with just a swirl. Of chocolate so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this in the refrigerator for a good four hours it really needs to chill down really good before you serve it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it in the refrigerator and I'll be right back all right guys so that was it that's how you make the pie pretty simple right maybe 15 minutes of your time maybe I don't know. My kids could do it on their own. They wouldn't need my help. But it's super yummy, and it's going to impress whoever you bring it to. Your family, your friends, whatever. So this video is part of the October Pie collaboration. As you can see, it is now November. I'm way far behind. But the collaboration was started by Whipperpool Will Holler. I will put her link down below in my description, if I even said that right. Um, she's got a playlist of everyone's pie recipes for the month of October. And I'd also like to say thank you to Tammy from Little Jordan Farms for tagging me in this. And trust me, my kids thank you too. Because they get to eat this when they get home. So you guys have a great day. And I will see you next time.